taken my hair down yet I usually sleep with it up in like a super uh, what's it called like loose bun anyway I am feeding Ivy and myself you guys kind of saw my little morning today is Tuesday say hello hi yeah, yeah you got banana welcome back to the vlog today I'm gonna do a little day in my life. I might bring it into tomorrow. We'll see how much I film today. Tuesdays currently are no longer a work day for me. They've moved to Wednesday so I can go to my Pilates class. I'm still in that women's like mothers group every other Tuesday, which I do have this morning in about 15 minutes. I'm not sure how much longer I'm gonna be in that. I don't mind doing it, so we'll see. So that's the only thing that is kind of hard now, not having help because everybody else has babies that are younger than mine, so it still can be held, <laughs> whereas Ivy is it's like kind of running amok. It might be a little bit of Miss Rachel time while I'm on that call, we'll see. The plan today, I have that. It's supposed to like freezing rain all day, otherwise I probably would have went and got groceries today. I don't think I'm going to. I was gonna ask you guys at the top of the vlog, cause not everybody stays till the end, which is totally understandable. Is there things that you wanna see in these vlogs or don't wanna see in these vlogs? I've been doing a couple more like sit down videos just to like talk more about like health and wellness stuff, but I can do that within vlogs too if that's interesting. Interesting. Just let me know if there's anything else that you'd like to see or if you like them the way they are I know right now it's hard. I feel like when we lived in Raleigh We could still do stuff in the winter whereas it's been so cold the last couple weeks and snowy that like We ain't doing much. I feel like you guys are just only seeing me <laughs> in the kitchen here If there's anything you'd like to see in the vlogs, let me know But definitely if you haven't watched any of my goals videos this year, I'm just really focusing on health my health which i feel like i say every year but like really instead of just like i want to lose weight it is like a total health redo which i've already started i've been taking some courses and working with my therapist and then you know taking pilates and trying to work out a little bit more and just paying attention to how the foods that i'm eating make me Feel. I've also been doing a SIBO protocol, which reminds me I need to take this before I finish my food. Just feeding Ivy. I do have another packet here. She's eating some banana. We'll see what else she wants. I don't know. I should be getting in a food box today. I had ordered Green Chef once. I've actually, I'll be getting another box on Friday, actually. I ordered something from Modify Health, and it was specifically a low FODMAP diet because that is how you're supposed to eat when you're on a, a SIBO diet is low FODMAP, but it's like very hard. Like low FODMAP to me is harder than autoimmune protocol. I haven't been like super strict at all. I would say I've been at like 70, 65% at that. I was like, well, if I'm already buying Green Chef, why don't I buy this low FODMAP meal kit so that that can like help me in the beginning of this like SIBO protocol and then I can like start making my own meals from it. So I ordered it last Sunday. So not two days ago, but the previous Sunday and it wasn't coming until Friday. And then Friday it never came, Saturday it never came, Sunday it never came. And I had reached out to them on Monday and they, or on Friday and they had told me that it should have been out for delivery but if I didn't get it by Monday they would overnight ship it to today so anyways long story short the box of food that I was supposed to get on Friday comes today which is Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday almost four days late so I haven't had like groceries I've been eating a lot of pasta <laughs> 
and sauce and I did we did end up ordering Indian food and I ordered two meals so that I had additional food because didn't have anything which was kind of annoying I don't think I'm gonna order from them again just because the heat just kicked in just because that was super annoying I know it was like an accident so if I like really like the food maybe I would but they're pretty expensive more expensive than Green Chef. Granted, the, the meals are prepared for you already. That's pretty annoying for it not to have come on time. Right. I need to, I edited a video that's going up tomorrow, so you guys will see that. I can link that here. It is specifically my health and wellness goals, plus it's like a two-in-one video. The beginning, I show you my vision board, and then I show you how to make a vision board very easily and free in Canva. The second part is like going deep into my health and wellness goals because when I did our family goals video, I kind of talked about health and wellness, or we did, but there's like so much there for me because it's like physical health, food, health, and mental health like i've really been struggling with my mental health the last couple of years which you guys probably notice in and out of videos like the different type of mindset i'm in like i'm in a really good mood today but i haven't been vlogging as much because honestly the beginning of this year i have not been in a great mood it's just like hard to get out of that pattern so if you're interested in like all the things i'm doing go watch that video but i i'm sure that some of that stuff will leak into my vlogs because there's a lot of stuff I'm doing like I'm doing a diastasis recti program right now for my ab separation so I've, I'm on day today will be day five and I can already tell that I'm already like firing my abs a little bit more I notice myself kind of like tightening them just out of habit and then I do this program called Vital Side, which is a neuroplasticity type of program. Are you getting mad? So that's like a mental health one. And I'm doing therapy, obviously, on Thursdays. Are you okay? What's wrong? Do you want this instead? Is this what you want? No. Or yes. You want banana? I don't know what she wants. I have that food freedom program which did just start last week um, and we just had kind of like a kickoff call last week this week and next week's calls are all kind of like kickoff calls they're like getting to know each other getting ready for the program type stuff so the program doesn't like fully get into stuff until February I would like to well I'm definitely gonna at least brush my hair <laughs> I would like to put maybe put on some makeup just to feel a little bit better about myself. I did clean up the kitchen. Tuesdays are usually our busy day because Ben trains his mom in the morning, so I have to get up earlier, which we all know I love. A lot of times he'll like clean up for me in the morning and he usually doesn't have time on Tuesdays, so I did all that already. Let's kick off the day. Cheers from my green smoothie. So anyway, I got my espresso. Wow, this is more I guess it is a double espresso, so we'll see how that works. I'm still trying to figure it out. It came with these. A lot of these pods are probably not pods I would purchase. I did like this Voltesso one. The Bianco one was good. The other ones were good. Um, I just realized now that both of these were de decaf, so I gave myself decaf the other day. I didn't even realize it. You find Coco. You find Coco. Then the gun, the guy. Koa, is it the baby? Mm. Gentle Ivy. Okay. Uh -huh. Say gentle. Uh -huh. <laughs> you happy Koa, is it your baby? <laughs> is it your baby Koa? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I'm waiting for her to go toward the water bowl. No, leave that, please. The walking thing is cool, but... <laughs> Careful, that's his bone. Gentle, please. Good job. You playing with the doggies? Are those your doggies? Yeah. I'm going to put my stuff on my coffee 
Please don't kill yourself in the two seconds that I'm gone. <laughs> Anyone else with kids? Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Where are you going? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, toddle. Toddle, toddle. Toddle, toddle. Where are you going? Where are you going, ma'am? What are you doing? Yeah, don't go by him when he has his bone. That's his bone. Uh-uh. I'm not worried about the dogs ever hurting her, but I still want her to learn to respect boundaries. Right? Can we go get Mama's coffee? Nope, leave the water alone. So the women's group went well. I put on Miss Rachel. She watched a little bit of it and then she like played by herself. But it was like the only, I mean, there's no way I could do a Zoom call with her. So here's my coffee today. I have a double espresso, which, yeah, I don't love. It's like a little too strong for me. I don't like this one, but I will drink it. You got daddy's frisbees? He thinks she's playing. <laughs> It's a boy and his baby. In my opinion, is that your baby? You just want the first baby. Good boy, silly boy. Silly boy, silly boy. Real life, don't love this. That reminds me while Ivy tears apart the entire downstairs. We're trying to figure out the whole toy situation. I feel like she has so many random toys or like toys for when she was younger. And I really would prefer to have toys that are like stimulating her brain right now since she's obviously like <laughs> learning a lot of stuff. We were going to buy one of those little toddler like triangle things, like climber things, but it, it's honestly, our house is too small. Yeah, but we're trying to figure out like what to do otherwise because otherwise all she has are like, I don't know, her toys just aren't like stimulating her brain, you know? So I want to try to figure that out. No, leave that. Oh God, I mean. <laughs> Send help. Thinking about getting like a love every box because those are like a little bit more based in like learning type toys. So like, do we get rid of some of her random toys? Cause some of her toys that she plays with honestly are like bath toys. Like they don't need to be up here or down here. So I need to figure out that, what we want to do. She has the ball pit, which is nice. She can like climb around in that, but otherwise she doesn't have anything else that's like that. No, no, but you. Okay. Do you have any ideas for like small space? Obviously it's way too cold to be outside right now. I hate the cold, so getting me to go outside is a whole other feat. So I've been trying to like let her, obviously what I'm doing now, let her like crawl around down here, but it's not baby proofed at all because it hasn't needed to be. So we need to put up baby gates and stuff. I do like my Nespresso so far. I just need to find the right combination. If you have any tips for making like a sweet latte, I asked this somewhere and somebody was like, it's really easy. It's just milk with an espresso pot. I'm like, I know, <laughs> but like, how do I make it sweet? You know, like I want it to be sweeter. So this is like almond milk and some creamer, but it's, so I'm wondering if I should like get syrup or something. I don't know. I'm trying to keep her up for a little bit. Yesterday she napped from 11 till 1.15, which was great because she is coming down to one nap now. That's just like what she's naturally been doing. I want to, <laughs> she's trying to open the drawers. Anyways, it's 12.30. I did like a workout thing. Benjamin's down here too, so if you hear somebody making noise in the background. But I made myself lunch, did not like it. Unfortunately, this came just a little too late, but it looks like my Modify Health box came, which is good because if I have to eat pasta, this sauce one more time. Like I said, these are like pre-made meals. Maple glaze, chicken, Savory pot roast, sweet and spicy chicken with bell pepper and sweet potato, barbecue whole chicken. They didn't have many options that were both egg free and dairy free. 
because apparently you can have dairy on low FODMAP, which I didn't know. Looks like I got two maple glaze chicken and then I got a salmon one. We'll see how this goes. I don't really know how to do this part, so here's the box for you. Oh. This will actually be great this week because my green chef will come right when I run out of these, Ben. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah. So anyway, like I said, I did like a workout in that like das desis recti thing. Um, I started messing around with my taxes, but honestly, there's too much going on down here. I was trying to eat at the same time. It just wasn't working. I'm going to have to do that a different day because I don't know how much I longer Ivy will be asleep. Started the doing some more of that vital side program that I'm in. The only thing with this program is it's definitely not geared toward people that have children <laughs> because which makes sense because it's supposed to be like at least an hour of every day that you focus on this and i do not have an hour of like uninterrupted time no and it's not stuff that you can like be interrupted in all right or do like half engaged right like you have to be fully listening there's like meditations and visualizations and all that stuff so you need to be like fully focused i have been doing little bits of it and then there's also like practice stuff i'm supposed to be doing when i start if i start feeling bad or like notice a thought that i want to change i'm gonna put these somewhere in the fridge and continue doing my stuff until ivy wakes up she's on an hour and a half nap which is great i'm hoping that she'll make it till one because that'd be at another two hour nap day, which would be great. What person uses this much dishes for one meal? <laughs> I'm watching Lydia Millen. Doggies, Ivy's playing over there by herself, giving her a little bit of alone time. I was gonna get like makeup today done. I don't want to. I was telling Ben, it's like hard to vlog in the winter here because I don't really do much. We don't really leave the house. Like I know some influencers do shit all the time. I don't consider myself an influencer yet, but like it's just hard to vlog because I'm literally just hanging out with Ivy in the house and we're not leaving very much and I'm just doing boring normal stuff and hopefully you guys like that in Raleigh at least we were able to like get out for walk or things like that a little bit more often than we can here. Um, I couldn't even go for a walk if I wanted to because all of the sidewalks are full of snow here because it's like the job of the person that owns the house, which probably is normal. Most of us clear the sidewalk, but not everybody. I think I'm going to make myself a coffee, a second coffee. I think I'm just going to make my cold brew though because I'm looking more for the taste right now. I'm just feeling low energy a little bit, which is fine. I did that vital side program and I noticed it just made me feel a little bit anxious because basically in order to make change, obviously you have to like change the way you do things and one of the things is you have to like do this four step process 50 times before you can move on to the next process and that just seems really overwhelming to me because it's it's just hard like it's just hard to do stuff when you're working when you're a mom a working mom a stay-at-home mom and as a stay-at-home mom mostly i do work a little bit it's hard she's reading <laughs> It's hard because like I can't do meditations. I can't leave her and go in the other room and do like a visualization with a one year old. So yeah, I'm just like trying to remind myself that I don't need to go quickly. If they want me to do it 50 times and it takes me 50 days to do that, then that's what it takes for me to move on to the next step. And that's okay. This is a year long program that I like signed up for so it doesn't need to all be done right now but I think like you know when you want to like change something for me at least I want to change it like now so I think I was just feeling a little discouraged about that but I'm reminding myself that like it doesn't need to be done right now like I can do one practice a day I can make time for that on Ivy's nap or I can get up 15 minutes earlier we're thinking about changing some stuff around just because the way the house is set up right now just like isn't working for me or for ben but i think we're gonna eventually move ivy's curb out of our room which a lot of people do when babies are like three months old but i 
didn't want to because if she's waking up so much in the middle of the night, you know, she might as well be by me. But I think we're going to possibly move her crib to her room because it'll just give us a little bit more room in our room. Plus maybe we, maybe she'll like that more. I'm hoping, I think there's like a piece of me, the reason that I'm like afraid to do it is because I'm afraid that it's going to make her not sleep again until she gets used to that. And I think I just need to understand that I don't have control over that. I think we're probably gonna do that in the next couple of weeks so that we have a little bit more space in our room. I'm trying to decide if I wanna move my desk into our room. Our room is small, like small. The rooms in this house are like a quarter, <laughs> a third of the size of the rooms were in Raleigh. So that's been like a big adjustment, but having my desk down here in this like main space where like Ben's cooking himself food during the day because he works from home. So he's like in and out of the kitchen a lot. Ivy's like doing stuff like, you know, I just don't have any space. So I'm trying to figure out if we can move my desk in there. I just don't know that there'll be enough room unless I get like a different chair. If not, like my desk can stay here, but I do want to set up like a little space for me to be able to like go and read. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. I might even just leave my desk here and like set up a little space in the room. We can like read or I can do like these little practices or something like that. I'm not sure. So need to figure that out because the space in here just isn't working. As you can see, there's just crap everywhere. And like, imagine working over there and having like a destroyed play space and like dog crap everywhere. And then like somebody constantly in the kitchen making noise. It's just a lot. And thankfully, that's why I like go and work from somewhere else on the days that I do work or I have to work like at night when everybody is asleep or like doing something else. Any who's all, I'm trying to figure that out. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know because the small house thing is just hard between finding space for my own stuff, finding space for Ivy's stuff. Don't chew on that, please. Look at your little person outfit. You got some jeans, you got a little vest, cute little yellow onesie with your water you're like a full-grown adult this is like there's just so much like we i don't know we need to, you okay we need to get rid of some stuff not the dogs <laughs> but just some stuff my desk base just like isn't working for me it's also not priority enough to like spend a bunch of money you know let's make myself a little coffee i buy these creamer by the way in like a six pack on Amazon. I can link below if I remember. It's just like a super easy way. I don't know if you remember, but I could only find this sometimes at Sprouts in Raleigh. I could never find it anywhere else and I have not found it here. So it's like the only creamer that I like. So thankfully I can get it on Amazon, but it is like organic and like, a. I don't think it's better for you, but it's just like a little bit less crappy maybe <laughs> I also bought one of these to try with my Nespresso which I haven't tried yet nut pods I've tried before and they're just like not sweet enough for me that's kind of the point right is like I need to chill on some of the sweetness it's now two o'clock I'm gonna have my coffee chill with Ives a little bit Ben works for another three three and a half hours kind of in like an end of independent play mood right now so maybe i'll just let her play upstairs and i'll sit with her on the floor hey friends a long time no car chat you know, I don't do these very often here because it's much busier, but I'm on like, do you hear everything just fall in the back? I'm on a back road for Schaumburg. Um, I'm headed to Whole Foods. Hopefully you can hear me. It is the next day. It's Tuesday. No, it's Wednesday. It's 1.32, so it's already been quite the day for me. I stopped vlogging last night. I don't even remember 
when we didn't really do much. Today is my work day now. Wednesdays are usually the day that I work. I also take reformer Pilates on Wednesdays, which is why I like changed stuff out. I took reformer Pilates this morning. It was great. Very hard though. My legs were like shaking like a leaf. I put in a Target order and a Whole Foods order. Thankfully, I was able to pick up both right away. I wrote, well, I finished all of my work for my client. I budgeted a little bit. There wasn't much to do because I do my budget every day. Just picked up my Target order. Ivy was out of diapers, so I got her a bunch of diapers. There's, you need to watch if you buy stuff from Target. They occasionally have like spend $100, get a $20 gift card or something like that. And I did that because you can easily spend $100 on diapers, let me tell you. <laughs> I bought some diapers, some Kendamil, some food for her. And then now I'm going to Whole Foods and getting our food. Like we had talked about, I'm not getting Whole Foods super often anymore because it's just overpriced. But this week it just kind of worked out. There's been like a ton of frozen rain this week, which is not my fave to drive in, obviously. We just needed like a little bit more specialty stuff. Speaking of Whole Foods, I'm pulling up right now. And then I thought that when I got home, I would show you guys my hauls if I have time. Ben's mom is there and it's always like weird to film in front of her or anyone really. She doesn't care. Literally no one cares. I care. <laughs> it's just one of those things where it's not that fun. Okay, that took a little bit longer than normal, but not too bad. Obviously, way less time than me having to get my own groceries, you know? So, people are, be crazy in this parking lot, so. One second. I have been having this, like, it feels like there's, like, a lump in my throat lately or, like, something stuck in my throat. I think it's, like, my GI is just messed up, you know? I have no idea what is actually causing it. I have this, like, lump in my throat again today, and yesterday triggered, like, a ton of anxiety for me with my health, which was not my fave thing ever. I just like have not been loving that. It's not like the greatest feeling in the world, you know, and it just set off my health anxiety last night and it was a whole thing. Today is hopefully a better day, even though I have the thing in my throat again. I'm also like starving because I haven't eaten anything. I made a smoothie this morning that was terrible, like literally terrible, so I've barely eaten or drank any of it. And then I thankfully had like an emergency protein bar. It's now almost two and I'm like starving. So I need to go home and eat. You know how I was like kind of whining about the fact that that box came really late, which it did. That like food box came really late yesterday. But I will say it was really good. <laughs> like the food that I got was really good. And their stuff is like very healthy. Like I said, this one's like low FODMAP in particular, but they also have like gluten-free stuff and it's pre-made food. So I'm contemplating kind of switching between this and Green Chef. Now, I'm still spending, like I just spent a ton of money at Whole Foods. It hasn't lowered my grocery bill really much at all. So that's the only thing that's like a little bit not my fave. I just need to figure out the cadence of that. What I wanted to talk to you guys about before I get home, and this is probably already a super long video. Next week is my birthday, actually a week from yesterday, so a little bit less than a week. I'm gonna be 36, which is insane to me. That feels very old, no offense to anybody that's older than that, just my brain like cannot compute anything over 35 years old. I'm struggling with that one a little bit, trying to decide what we wanna do for the day. Ben is gonna take off work. I think Ben's mom's gonna come over and hang out with Ivy for a little bit. So Ben and I can like go to lunch or something. I want to be with Ivy on my birthday, so I don't really wanna be gone very long, but it would be nice to like get out of the house and like get lunch or something like that. So I'm planning to vlog this weekend and on my birthday, so I'll show you guys that. Home. Having a little bit of a plumbing issue, but don't know anything more than that at this moment. <laughs> However, I'm gonna show you what I got from Whole Foods and then Target. I also got a bunch of diapers from Target, but let me show you. So I also got a formula for Ivy because she's just not finished with that yet. And then I got a bunch of these pouches, I know, but they're nice to have on hand for right now. And then I got her a couple of like cracker 
like snacky things that we can give her while we're like making her food. Bunch of Ivy food basically is what I got from Target. Whole Foods, I got two vegan cheese. You can probably hear the dryer in the background. Sorry about that. Some turkey eggs for Ben, tortillas for Ben. I got some baking soda because I've been using this in the laundry. And honestly, with Ivy having some diaper rash, we use that as well. Taco seasoning and some salsa. Got a curry. We're out of our peanut butter from, well, it looks like they substituted it, but that's okay. Out of our peanut butter from Costco, so got that. Got Ben some dates and some gluten-free pasta. My favorite chocolate and green lentils for Ben. I got two kinds of almond milk for Ben and I. I thought one of these was vanilla, but apparently not. I got two kinds of berries, some lemons, avocado, bell pepper. I got a cucumber, oranges, and spinach, mushrooms. Corn. I got two apples for myself, although to be honest, they feel kind of meh, so we'll see. Some Brussels sprouts. The world's tiniest bananas. I don't know why these are so small. Sour cream and lactose-free cottage cheese. I actually prefer a different brand, but that's all they had. Some ginger. I got two heirloom tomatoes. Some potatoes. Gluten-free, egg-free bread. And chips. That's the haul. Uh, I need to put some of this away. Hopefully going to have a plumber up in here soon. I'm gonna end off this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back in a couple days with another vlog and I'll see you in the next one.